Adobe Illustrator has a few updates for 2021 and one of those updates has changed how I work with color on my logo design process. So welcome back to Satori Graphics. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how I apply color to my logo designs effectively heading into 2021. Now we are going to be making great use of this little gem up here, but more about that later. Typically, of course, I prefer to design my logos in grayscale first and foremost, and that's so I can focus on the shape and the design itself. But going back to my initial design process of research and information gathering, I will have a good idea about the color choices in mind for the design. Today's video is about using color technically speaking within Illustrator, but next week I am bringing you guys a video on how to choose the right colors from the design process. Okay, so what I do is I firstly come into the Color Scheme Explore option, and from my research on this brand Ripple, I formulated the keywords such as energy, positive, and change. Now if I go ahead and search positive, you can see I have a lot of color schemes here to browse over. Now in my research, I did understand that orange is a nice energetic color that's typically used to suggest change or motivation in a positive way. And so this scheme here with oranges and some blues might be a good choice. But yeah, there are of course a lot of choices open to me. I will then add the colors to my swatches, or I might even save them to my library. And then it's just a case of applying the colors from the swatches to my design like so. However, when designing, I also find that the client might want to see the designs in various different color schemes, and I myself also would like to see them in different ways and how they look. And so it is a good idea to duplicate the design by holding down the Alt Option key and then clicking and dragging, and then of course press Command or Control D to duplicate the process. But yeah, going back to my swatches, I can just then select and apply the relevant colors to my logo and see how they look next to each other. But yeah, we are going to bring out the big guns now with a new feature built into Illustrator 2021. To be fair, I was hoping for more in the way of the update in 2021 because I feel the updates were lacking in features and they didn't expand that much on the program. Anyway, that's a story for another time. But yeah, here we do have quick access to the recolor tab at the very top. Now right off the bat, we have a handy slider here that's gonna increase or decrease the brightness, also the saturation if you flick it over on the switch here. In the slider above, we can adjust the dominance of a certain color in the group or the selection that we're working on. And these changes are in real time, as you can see. The reset button is obviously gonna be handy and it does reset things back to the original state. As always, when using the recolor artwork, we can change the entire group like so. And if you uncheck the link icon, you can adjust an individual color independently of everything else. But yeah, there are two very important and awesome features that I want to show you in relation to logo designing. The first being recoloring every logo into a Pantone color choice. Now Pantone color books are used for various different reasons, and I do mention them next week in my video on logo design color choice. But sometimes a client will require that the logo is Pantone, and so having this feature so easily accessible is pretty awesome. I can actually even edit my color choices in relation to Pantone. And just to verify that in fact my designs are now Pantone, we can select each design and then look up the color in the color window. As you can see it reads Pantone Orange 021U and the original designs were in RGB color modes. So I have effectively changed all of the four designs below into relevant Pantone color choices and in a very intuitive and customizable way. There is one other awesome feature that I'm sure will help you in your logo design process in Illustrator. So again, going back to the research phase of your logo, you might have some imagery that relates back to the brand, or maybe even the client themselves did actually send you something in terms of imagery. With the new feature, we can sample colors from the image like so, and Illustrator will allocate different color choices relevant to that imagery. Of course, we can then come along and edit things, you know, in terms of the brightness, the saturation, and if we really want to, we can save the color scheme within the color edit panel. Working with color has never been easier in terms of logo designing in Illustrator. 
I'm finding this update really awesome just for this alone, but there isn't that much else going on for me personally. But yeah, if you guys want to learn something else today, do click a video on screen. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace. Yeah.